Hey guys, it's Belle, and today I'm going to go ahead and review a melt cup of the Yankee Candle scent called Cafe Al Fresco. This is one of the new fragrances for springtime of 2017, and I thought I would go ahead and just give you my thoughts on this one. So first of all, let me start with the scent description on the website. It says, the warm air of a bustling outdoor cafe kissed with sweet notes of cinnamon, coffee, and a dash of caramel. So that is how Yankee describes this fragrance. Um, I will just go ahead and tell you my first impression thoughts on the fragrance itself. I don't really get a lot of cinnamon out of this, but I get a lot of caramel. So I'm kind of surprised that it says a dash of caramel because to me that is very pronounced in this scent. Um, it also reminds me, the coffee note kind of reminds me of a sort of medium bodied, high quality coffee, kind of how that would smell or taste. It does remind me of that. Um, and more specifically, it reminds me kind of like if you had a really nice coffee like that and then you added coffee creamer or a really nice like coffee flavor to it, that's really kind of what the scent reminds me of. I, I will just say also that if any of you are Starbucks drinkers out there, um, right now Starbucks has that smoked um, butterscotch. Kind of the way that tastes is sort of how this one, how this milk cup smells to me, if that makes any sense. So it definitely has a very like sweet buttery caramel kind of note in this milk cup. So that's just my general first impression of this scent and kind of how I would best describe it. So then let me give you some more thoughts here. Okay, so here are some additional thoughts that I have about this particular scent. Um, I do really like that this is, in my opinion, a not offensive kind of coffee fragrance. I just find it a little bit lighter and sweeter and I really sat and thought about why kind of I felt that way about it um, and I really think it's because a lot of coffee fragrances sometimes have like notes of chocolate in there and to me chocolate is very artificial it's really hard to get right in a candle or in body care or anything like that um, chocolate is, is to me a little bit tricky to kind of pull off so for that reason, I think that this one works because it doesn't have those like back notes of chocolate. So I find it a lighter, slightly more refreshing version of a coffee fragrance that's not quite a quite as offensive. But with that said, it is still a coffee scent and I feel like a lot of people kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. So that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind. Um, but I do like that it's a not it's not an offensive coffee fragrance. Um, I also am a little bit perplexed, and this is maybe being kind of nitpicky, but I'm a little perplexed as to why Yankee is releasing this in the springtime. You know, in one sense, it's kind of good that they're going outside of, like, the norm, but I still feel like this kind of a coffee fragrance fits a little bit better for fall. Um... And, but, you know, I did say that it wasn't offensive, it wasn't as heavy, so I can see why maybe they chose to do a spring release on this. But with that said, I think if you absolutely love coffee fragrances, you could use this any time of the year. It's, you know, not seasonal really. Um, but I just think fall more when I smell this. So I also really like that it kind of has like a milky caramel note in there. I think that's really nice and kind of comforting. So maybe that's why I'm thinking more fall. Um, but it's just not as heavy as most coffee fragrances so I do really enjoy that about it. So lastly I just want to share some final thoughts about the milk cup itself and um, mine has been going for about 12 hours so it's about halfway done. They do last typically about 24 hours so I have a little bit longer to go here on this one. I will say that the throw has been very very good. Um, it is the type of throw that is noticeable. It it goes from like room to room. I can really smell it on my first floor so it's a very nice throw but it's not overly um, strong. It's not going to chase you out of a room kind of thing. I mean if you did have this going in a very small space it might do that. It might kind of chase you out but in an open area I think that it just kind of flows nicely from room to room and it smells nice without being too much. So that is really good. Um, I do really like it. I also just want to say on this scent too that I forgot to mention that I think it's a very nice fragrance, but I don't think it's incredibly unique either. I will just say, I think it's very realistic. It has a really beautiful scent, but there's nothing like overly unique about it. I feel like I've smelled it somewhere before or something similar to it. So um, I just wanted to throw that in there because I forgot to earlier. I did actually pick this up. Yankee during semi-annual sale gave me a coupon. So if any of you have this coupon, it's for buy one, get one free. 
I did pick this up along with the Honey Lavender Gelato, which I will be reviewing next. So that is how I got that. I mean, a great deal. I mean, it was $5 for the two um, with that coupon. So it's a good way to try this if you have that coupon. Um, and at least I think it's worth going to kind of check it out um, and smell it in the store and just see if it's something that you would like. I do think it's a nice attempt on Yankee's part at doing something kind of, um, I don't want to say bakery, but kind of more like foodie, if, if you will, for the springtime. It's not the traditional like flowers and all of that. I do still think fall when I smell this, but I think it's a nice attempt at something different. So anyway, you guys, that'll do it for my review of the Yankee Milk Cup in Cafe Alfresco. So let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye.